Doctor, doc, TikTok doctor banned from practicing medicine. Let's check this out. This is probably one of the wildest stories we've covered here in a while, and it all revolves around a TikTok famous doctor who had her medical license removed because of her TikTok. Dude, I have to just Content. do TikToks nowadays. There's some doctors that freaking like quit doing medical practice, or they make more doing YouTube than they do medical practice now. But this one, this one, she she lost her license, guys. You think she's gonna get it back? Let's see. And was even banned from practicing medicine in the state of Ohio. So hey, oh. Oh, Dr. Roxy, who became a very viral t All right, Dr. Roxy. TikTok doctor over the last couple of years who gained over 850,000 followers on the platform. Sheesh, bro, that's like a, a country full of followers. And she was a plastic surgeon, and her content revolved around promoting plastic surgery. Surprise, surprise, that's where she made her money. It seems like... Okay, okay, good good business model, right? Her TikTok was a funnel to get more customers, which is normal and completely fine to do, but the way she did it made her come across as pretty slimy. For example, here's a video of her essentially saying, most women need a breast lift. What? Hi, it's Dr. Roxy. How do you know if you need a breast lift? I am going to tell you about a very important test. It's called the pencil test, and all you need is a pencil. Thank you. This is best done in front of your mirror with absolutely no clothes Dang, I might need one. Clothes on, but we don't want to get kicked off of TikTok, so we'll show you the shirt. You take your pencil and you'll put it right under your- oh, I thought that was a mannequin for a second, bros. Your breast fold, of course, with no clothes on. And if your nipple or your breast is below the fold, you need a lift. As you can see, she does not need a lift. But if you take your pencil and put it underneath your folds and the breast tissue and nipple are hanging past the pencil, then you need a lift. Oh snap. I did not know. So now it's time to take your test. Did you pass? Talk about Oh snap, guys. But where are those? I didn't see you're saying most need a li breast lift, guys. What? Changing the bar here. Like, I could be wrong, but I thought that pencil test was to see if you could benefit from wearing a bra. So to me, it, it seems like she's trying to rebrand that to solicit customers who might not know better. Also, remember that video because it's going to become more relevant towards the end. Okay, okay. End of this video. But unfortunately for Dr. Roxy, this is just the tip of the iceberg for things that were posted on her TikTok account that got her in trouble. Because she made tip of the iceberg. Yeah. TikToks while doing surgeries. And I'm not Wait, what? Talking about someone. Nobody does that. No doctor does that. Filming her while she's super focused doing the surgery. No. She was live streaming and interacting with a chat while she was doing surgeries. <laughs> Bro. Hey, she she knows what she's doing. I don't think there that be be that much of a problem, right? Is if the patient consents, in my opinion. I just had a loss for words. That's insane. What? And we covered this in my last feed on her, but it seems like she was more focused on interacting with the TikTok camera rather than doing the actual operation. In liposuction. Oh, snap. I don't know. Bro. Yeah, only if they consent. I'd I'd actually be cool if, if they knew what they're doing and they didn't mess it up. That'd be cool of them. Uh, I'd be cool with them live streaming it. I'm not gonna lie. Hey, Dodgers gotta get that bag as well. You know what I mean? I don't know about you guys, but I feel like that's a definitely a messed up thing for a plastic surgeon to do. And thankfully, we weren't the only people who thought that because the Ohio Medical Board they had a massive issue with her antics. But if you thought that's bad, it gets so much worse because the wild. What? Oh, snap. The eldest thing about this story is Dr. Roxy's clients were told not to call- I personally don't think it was that bad. Call 911 when they experienced post-surgery complications. What? <laughs> what now? How reckless- Hey, if it's a- if, if it's an emergency, then I think you gotta do that, but it depends if it's like just pain or something worse that needs an emergency. We gotta see, we gotta see of a doctor are you with that she basically just showed the world she cares more about her own reputation than the lives of her own patients a distract hey my doctor app it, it it advises me to call if uh, there's an issue so i don't know if my article states following a patient that needs an emergency though that, that's that's the difference that is the difference if it needs an emergency 
Jason's tummy tuck and breast surgery, she claims her drains weren't working in the recovery house. Despite this, the nurse practitioner urged her not to go to the emergency room. According to Runyon, she still can't stand up straight and is paying for additional surgeries to correct the damage caused by Dr. Roxy. Oh snap, she, now she's messing up surgeries, guys. What the? Runyon, who's the patient here, said that I thought she was the best because that's the way she made me feel. But I should have dug a little bit deeper. I said this in my last video, but the point still stands. Just because you have a large follower account doesn't mean that you are a competent surgeon. PewDiePie is a legend, but I would absolutely not want him to operate on me. So oh yeah, he's not a surgeon though. How about we all band together and avoid picking our doctors based on follower counts? It's sad. Hmm. Kinda true, not gonna lie. I have to say that we're slowly starting to get to this point in society to where what we would- uh, I, I personally find it cool if I had a doctor that was a TikToker as well, because, you know, I mean, I'm also on TikTok, guys, and I'm, I'm trying to get a following and stuff, you know what I mean? The thought would have been common since 10 years ago absolutely isn't for quite a few people in this age. But remember the video of her advertising a breast lift? Well, apparently... She botched one. Really bad. Uh -oh. No, no. Dennis went to Dr. Roxy for a breast lift. Um, I found her on TikTok. I definitely connected with her personality. Kelsey says she watched videos of Dr. Roxy performing surgeries every day for months. Did you talk to any patients? Or every single day. Or anything like that? No. She's not the only uh, plastic surgeon that's on TikTok, guys. I can guarantee you. It's, it's a huge platform, man. Oh, I, I didn't know anybody who had had surgery. So you assumed because she was this TikTok personality that she was going to do a great job on your breasts. Yeah. If you're brave enough to live stream surgery and you're that transparent, you would just assume, you know, that she's not having the issue she was having. But Kelsey says she suffered okay. major complications. By four oh, snap. weeks, I had a five by five wound under that breast. What an absolute nightmare, but because it seems don't know what that is, guys. It's like every, everything Dr. Roxy did was for TikTok content. That patient can now relive that nightmare. She live streamed your surgery. She did. Oh, snap. Do you feel... So she... And maybe, 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 I, maybe I'm going to go back on doctors live streaming it, guys. Like talking with the chat. Because like I can't even game and talk with the chat at the same time. <laughs> so I take that back. I take that back. She messed up one that was live streamed here, guys. It's a big no-no. That, that could have contributed to what happened. You think she wasn't paying attention? Rewatching it, I saw a couple cuts that she made when she was clearly talking to the camera or focused on what she was saying to them. Kelsey says she finally like you can do a live stream right. You can like you know focus on the chat when things aren't uh, you know you don't need that much you know. When it's like breaks, but you, when you gotta focus, you gotta focus. That's what I think, guys. He went to another doctor. He said, "There's no way this is ever going to look normal again." Doctor Roxy had no no comment about being stripped of her license. No way. I wonder if she was also told not to go to the hospital. It is wild how much social media can ruin. Oh, he told him not to go. Wait, oh, snap. And some people. Like, even doctors and surgeons. I mean, just the act of being. She told him not to go to the hospital. Wait, what? More focused on what looks good for your own TikTok content rather than operating on the person who trusted you with her life and body is so messed up. Life is really becoming more and more like a Black Mirror episode because surgeons interacting with a live stream chat as they're doing their operations sounds beyond dystopian. Thanks, bro. Ah, yes, I'm making an incision here. Oh, what was that? Oh, thank you, Hatsune Miku Lover 420, for the donation. Thank you for the roses. Uh, uh, maybe in the future, an AI kind of live stream will, will pop up like that, guys, where they're doing surgery and acting like AI. It might happen. Oops. How do things just keep getting so much worse? But at least on the bright side, for the victims in this, Dr. Roxy was stripped of her medical license. She live streamed plastic surgery on TikTok, gaining a huge following. Uh, first of all, that's kind of I don't want I wouldn't even want to see that on my page without like me signing like a disclaimer or something because that's kind of you know I don't want to see gore and slicing open and all that stuff. I don't, especially humans. Uh, I already have trouble with seeing like freaking 
and them butchering crabs and, and eating them or, or chickens. Because they they got TikToks like that as well, man. And I'm not cool with the, seeing that. I, 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 I wish I could have prevent myself from seeing that kind of stuff. You want to get in the OR and see behind the scenes and how this stuff works. But now, Dr. Roxy, whose real name is Catherine Grawi, has been permanently stripped of her license by the state medical board in Ohio. Dr. Roxy claims that this will change her life forever. Well, she has single-handedly forever changed the life. Facts, bro. The board said it's just. If she didn't botch the surgery, she wouldn't be in this tr this, this this trouble, though, guys. I think. Decision was based on her failure to meet standard of care, following evidence that she botched three surgeries. While that doesn't really fix anything for the people's bodies who've been permanently altered by the negligence on Dr. Roxy's part, at least it prevents this from happening to new people. At least in the state of Ohio. I'm unsure if she can just move states and open a new practice. But I Maybe, I don't know. I mean, either way. We gotta, we gotta like follow her on TikTok to see what she does then. Because I, I do, uh, not like I w wish the worst for her, guys. I, uh, you know. With all this media attention, it's going to be hard for her to do so without people knowing about it. What I found really. I hope she finds like another, she probably has kids. I hope she finds like another job or something to help her in surprising was is apparently this has been an ongoing thing for a long time now where the medical board even warned her back in 2018 citing concerns way back then concerns over patient privacy and possible ethics violations and we saw one of the severely botched patients earlier but another woman's intestine was found to be perforated a week after, uh. after her surgery and this naturally was a procedure that dr roxy live streamed on her tiktok account the unnamed patient suffered severe damage to and the bacterial infections in her abdomen as well as loss of brain function from the amount of toxins in her blood so that is nothing less than absolutely horrifying don't for sure for sure hopefully they get a compensation for that what the pick your doctors from tiktok please and of yeah please don't guys. of course when dr roxy was confronted with this dr roxy had no comment about being stripped of her license are we surprised not really like will she go down the route of trying to appeal this who knows maybe maybe not guys if she's botching surgeries while live streaming, I don't think she should live stream it, at least. Overall, I just feel terrible for the victims and all this. But other than that, YouTube thinks that you would enjoy this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Alright guys, see you guys next one as well. Peace out, everyone. Check out the original video. I also live stream this on, t uh, on Twitch, if you guys don't know. Uh, I live stream all my reactions on Twitch. Peace out, everyone.